Hello, I'm Patsy from the Wapaka Library and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making some homemade cranberry sauce. I wanted to try a new recipe this year and um, it's a great opportunity for me to show you how simple it is to make your own homemade cranberry sauce. So for this recipe, you're going to need uh, one pound of fresh cranberries and I've rinsed these um, and picked over them and I've pulled out all of the, um, the ones that were kind of wrinkly or brown spots. Um, cranberries come in all different colors and there's even in here one almost white cranberry um, and that's okay. So you don't have to worry about the different coloration. You just have to pull out anything that's wrinkled or browning or squishy. Okay, we're gonna just put those right into our pot. And we're going to add one quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. And I want the sweet tart um, cranberry sauce, so that's why I'm doing this recipe. You could use water instead of balsamic vinegar if you wanted, that's just fine. It's just a tiny bit of liquid to get your mixture um, started boiling. And then this recipe also call, calls for three tablespoons of maple syrup. So I'm gonna put maple syrup in. And that's it, just three ingredients right now. And we're gonna turn this on and get it started boiling. So I've got my heat on medium and I've got just a tiny bit of liquid in the bottom of the pan. Let's see if I can get that image there. There's just not much liquid in the bottom of the pan, but it's enough to get the bottom layer um, simmering and you can kind of hear it sizzling a little bit and in a few minutes, we'll start hearing the cranberries pop. So it's been about five minutes and our mixture is really starting to cook down. You can see that some of the berries have popped and released up their liquid. So we're actually about half liquid now instead of just that tiny quarter cup that we put in. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn it down a little. We don't want our sugars in the balsamic or in the maple syrup to burn on this medium heat. So I'm just gonna cook it down until all of the berries are um, burst open. I don't want any whole berries because that would be very tart. And after I get it to the consistency that I want, it'll take about 10 minutes or less, um, but after I get it there, I will taste it to see how sweet it is and maybe adjust if I need to add more maple syrup. So my cranberry sauce is cooked down, it's nice and thick, and most of the berries have popped. You can squish them if you want or leave them whole. They'll soften as they sit in this hot mixture. So I'm just gonna put that into a bowl and refrigerate it until it's nice and chilled and serve it for Thanksgiving. You can add uh, additional sweetener if you uh, think it's a little bit too tart. Um, you can add a little bit of water if it turns out that it's too thick. I did add one additional tablespoon of maple syrup and it made it really glossy and just a little bit sweeter um, and it's just perfect now. So I hope that you'll try making this easy recipe if you like eating cranberries and I hope you enjoy it.